Well, Zach Purton, you've just ridden Little Bridge to Victory here in the King Stand. How are you feeling? Oh, at the moment, I'm feeling fantastic. It's a great experience. It's good to be here and to win a race is uh, even more special. You know the horse very well. When you arrived and got legged up today, what were your first impressions? He was a little bit more on the toe today than what he normally is. He was sweating up a little bit more, so my job was just trying try to get him to relax and switch off a little bit more. And that was hard, going down past all that big crowd and that big grandstand. He, you know, he was a little bit worked up. It took me a long time to get him to settle down, but once he was near the gates and he was walking around, he started to chill a bit and started to relax. And you know, he was coming back underneath me good. And you know, from that point, I was confident I had the horse back underneath me. Work us through the race from the jump. What was the plan? And who are you going to follow? I didn't really have a plan, you know, Danny and I spoke about a few different things that might happen in the end, he just said he'd leave it up to me and I said I'd just ride the race on feel and that's what I was going to do. I knew there was a couple of horses in the race that showed a bit of speed and I was surprised I was the first out of the gates and, you know, leading them up early, it's the only place I didn't really expect to be. So, he had his ears pricked, he was relaxed, I let him come back underneath me, gave him one to follow and, you know, that just took me into the race, took me to the top of the rise, which is where I wanted something to take me to and where I wanted to wait to and then when I pressed the button I knew what I'd have left and, you know, the right horse turned up today and I'm just happy for happy for the horse, happy for Hong Kong. What's going for your head at the furlong? Uh, just trying to get him to the line, you know. Um, he was having a look around, he was wandering a little bit. I was just trying to keep his mind on the job um, just to get him over the line. So. And going past the post, the feeling for you? Uh, just a sense of relief, a sense of joy, happiness, you know, to win a race here is, is great. How much do you think he's come on in the last 12 months, this horse? Because, you know, a year ago he was touted as a potential superstar. Yeah, he's come on a lot more so in the last six months. Um, 12 months ago, even two years ago, I rode him in the Hong Kong Sprint, and at that time I thought he was only 12 months away, and then he ran in the Sprint again last year, and you know it's just taken him a little bit longer to fully furnish into a nice horse. And in the last six months, he's taken another step. He's improved three lengths, and we're seeing uh, the results of that now. Danny's been very calculating in his campaign here. Only come for the one race. Now the target's Japan. Yeah, uh, obviously. Racing against Black Caviar is a bit of a non-event. Uh, you'd only run second there, so he wanted to pick this race out, uh, which probably suited him better, you know. Five furlongs up the straight, he really excels at that. And now put him away, get him ready for Japan, and you know, give him his chance there. How will you celebrate tonight? Uh, have as many drinks as I can, and then get on the plane and get back to Hong Kong.